Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you like my channel, please subscribe and like my channel and show some love and spread the world around about my channel. I would appreciate it so much. So, I had some questions about the Horizon Backstage Pass. Now, it was maybe a little bit hard for everybody. What is it and how do we get it? It's a, it's a complete new feature um, since Series 28. I've been making videos since actually since day one about all series, uh, you can also see that on my videos. So what is the backstage pass actually? As you can see, you will have it at series completion bonus. So what I'll explain this first. What do you need to do? It means that here you have every time you have your percentages. You have four weeks in the Forza. Uh, four weeks, uh, my gamepad is acting very weird, but that doesn't matter. So every time when you do the festival playlist, for example, the summer, I did everything except these here. I still need to do that. Um, that gives me 93%. Uh, the percentage has always been on my video in the description. Now we also have done autumn. In autumn, I already have 21%. That means the 21% is a monthly rivals and online adventure uh, counted already. So here you see that my um, series completion bonus is 39% that will stay now if next week we play and we play all these things it will uh, go higher the 39% and this of course also and then so on and so on now when do you get the backstage, backstage pass and the Toyota Toronto well if you do not have uh, Xbox Live you will probably get it at spring if you've done everything and every daily you will get the car and a backstage pass now if you have life you and you did everything you will get it already in winter so that's the downside if you don't have life but if you don't have life you will get it anyway now what is that it's something very interesting for people especially for new people so as you can see you can go from the festival sites, you can just drive to the backstage. It's also basically on the map. So let's have a look quickly. Here you see I'm at a festival, um, Horizon Festival, and here is the backstage. So I can fast travel, but I'll just drive quickly to it. It's here at that big, um, well, I guess it's a backstage. So here you can have a look at the backstage. So let's go to it. There you go. So you don't have to go to the menu or you can go to the menu. Here you say we have a community vote. What is this? We can vote for an amount of time. What car would you like to have? Uh, basically now it's going for the Pontiac and not the Mercedes. Uh, next month it will probably be different cars. It, it, it will change. There will always be a choice between two cars. And then you have the cars that are already in it as you can see you can only have one car each time so you cannot buy 10 of those if you have 10 backstage now for example this car is a very good car new players maybe don't have it or this one or this one doesn't matter um, the thing is you get one backstage pass each series so you can get one car uh, per series I am not 100% sure if we if they would add something that we could get more but it is the same as the Forzaton points for the Forzaton shop you can add up the points so if you don't buy for example this month a car the points will go over to the next month so if you have like in three months you have three backstage pass points um, as far as I know it's only one backstage point a month so you need to either if you have all these cars you just wait or if you say I don't want one of these cars just keep the pass and on the next month you can buy two cars or the month after you can buy three cars basically that's it there is really not more to it so the best thing what you need to do is you have to play at least three weeks to get um, 
the 50%. Well, I don't think you need to play three weeks. I think if you have live, Xbox Live, you can actually get it in two weeks, the backstage pass, since it's only 50%. The Toyota at 80%, you will have to play three weeks or four weeks. Um, so after a good two, two weeks, you will get the backstage pass. And then you can just go, uh, either you go here at the cars, you also see it, or you just go onto the map and just drive to it. Um, now, is this something good? I think so, it is. Um, why? Especially for new people or people that missed out a series or a week or whatever, they can get a car that they might not have. So this is very interesting uh, for new players. Also for players that have already been in the game, but for me, example, this is not interesting. Um, I have every car because I've been playing for like more than two years. Um, so for me, it's not really something interesting. If I could give my points away, uh, that would be interesting. Now, what I would prefer in this game is that you can actually sell cars private on the auction. Uh, the auction is already broken, completely broken. Uh, by people that are modding accounts, uh, people that uh, sell accounts with all the cars and all that. I think it just breaks the game and also it broke down the auction completely. There was a time that you that I was actually a lot on the auction and I just hours and hours spent, I want that car, I want that car and that car. Um, that's just completely over. Maybe Forza realized that by bringing into the backstage um feature now now you can only get one so it is a little bit annoying that you cannot earn more points maybe there's a possibility that you can do it by force up ton points or whatever i would like to say like oh let's make some skill points let the people drift do skill points and whatever as you can see it builds up uh, let, let's have a look here you can see I have, for example, 25,000 Forza Ton points. That happened because Forza made a little mistake um, and resetted every car in the game for everybody at that moment. And we got all back like this. A uh, thousand points is, I think, the maximum or 999. Uh, so for the new players, if you wonder why does he have 25,000 points, it is because of a little tiny mistake that all our Forza Ton points got off. But it would be nice if they actually put a backstage pass here in the Forza Ton shop. It will make people do more for the Forza Ton points also. Um, as you can see here, you get Forza Ton points if you do the weekly. There you got 60 bonus Forza Ton points. Why not include it? Uh, in the Forzaton challenge or even make instead of taking a photo challenge pick make some special event that you can actually earn something uh, a backstage point that, that would be something that people actually would do the photo challenge for me is completely useless change that to a backstage pass event uh, something special N not just a race or something just something fun that people actually want to drive it because they actually want the car and earn the car for that and have pleasure in it so basically that's it i'll just repeat it quickly um because there's nothing really special about it you have at 50 percent the backstage pass i am at 39 percent because i have xbox live and i did everything well except these three i'm not gonna do that um in autumn i probably will have my backstage pass already and the toronto i will have in the winter because i always have the high um percentage here so this one is for a full month that you have time this is just for one week well, I hope my explanation is a little bit clear. Um, I do gonna suggest on the Forza community, while well, especially to the devs, if they would actually consider making a special event for the backstage pass. I hope they will listen. Um, 
it can't be that hard to include it since they have a photo challenge. So why not do, for example, include the community and say like, look guys, we want to involve you. Make some nice, I know the, uh, the, the people, the community made some very, very nice blueprints. Why not use blueprints as an event to earn a backstage pass? I think that would be something amazing that the community gets involved with that and also that people, especially new people or people that missed out a week or maybe a whole series can actually get the cars. So that's something I'm uh, going to suggest to the devs. Um, uh, it's not that I got some influence or anything. I'm just a small YouTuber. Um, uh, I'm not really known in Forza, although I'm legend painter and tuner since Forza Horizon 3 and also in Forza Horizon 4. I have a lot of followers, I think 2000 on my creative hub. Um, but I will suggest that because I spoke to one of the devs uh, a long time ago about a festival playlist problem. But that's it. That's basically it. What you need to do is play the game, play the festival playlist. Get your 50%, you will get it at autumn or winter, and then you can buy a car that you want. And once again, the backstage passes are, you can keep them. So it's not that if you don't buy one car in a month, or you do uh, just one, you, you miss out one car, or you say, I don't want the car at this moment, the it will count up. So don't worry about it, you won't lose anything. You can just save up. Uh, for maybe if there are more interesting cars Well, that's basically it. I can't tell more. I'll try to Ask more information about from the devs and also suggest what I just told about making a special event for the backstage pass so people can easily get cars they never got or since to me the the auction house is completely broken because of people selling modded accounts and I really do not like that I'm not a fan of that um, I think just stay honest in the game uh, have fun in the game that's what gaming should be that's what I do every time when I stream on Twitch I play a game uh, I have fun with it um, also every Thursday I stream on Twitch the festival playlist with my club members and we always have fun so that should be the way you should game also well, I hope my explanation was a little bit interesting and a little bit clear about the backstage pass. So hopefully you know more now. I probably next Thursday I'll make again my festival video and then you will see the backstage pass. I hope I have it then. I think I will have it then because I already have 39% and otherwise it will be the week after. So if you like the video, just like the video subscribe send it around and hopefully everybody enjoyed it thanks for listening and see you later bye bye